fit. Spree! Oh wait, hi everyone, my name is Jim Jankowski and today we're going to be talking about zoonosis. Specifically, how diseases and viruses and stuff like that transmit from species to species. Say it's the year 69420 B. C. E. And you're a Roman living in the Holy Roman Empire. And this is you and your thing, but you're bold. And then you have a stick, because that's what Romans had. And you're discovering these cat things, and they're really cute. And they catch mouse. And then they're very cool, right? So one day, your cat is like, ah! Achoo! And it sneeze, and then you're like, Oh no, my kitty cat is sick. How did this happen? And then a few days later, you frowny face, cause you're sick too. And then it goes doom, boom, boom. But how did this happen? What is this possible? What what did make sick and then get me sick? Okay, so here's what's happened. So say your cat ingested a pathogen. If you're gonna draw angry eyes. And this pathogen or a disease or virus thing went inside the cat and it kind of made it sick. So what did it do? Well first it, it made contact with the cat so it go touch boom boom into the mouth into your body holes and then it went into your bloodstream or whatever or respiratory system and then it found your cells. And this is a cell, so this is the nucleus, and this is the mud, there's stuff here. And then your thing went in here, and this is the angry boy. And he's right here, and now he's in the cell, so he goes to the nucleus, which is the brain, and he's like, oh, you're gonna make this, 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 which is more of this. So there's gonna be lots of these, lots of these guys, and they're gonna all be angry, and they're gonna be duplicates, because they're like genetic children of this man. And then, after that, if a cat sneezes, all the all the things in here, the fluids, are gonna go boom, 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 and there's gonna be everywhere. There's gonna be millions of this. But but the thing is, this is a cat, and this is a human. So how did this happen? Okay, so say you're a virus and you're living in the cell, right? Well, let's just say you make a thousand RNA copies, and those make copies of you. You have like a million. There's bound to be a couple that have some defects. And that's what these mutations are. So like, say you have a defect that just like makes you explode. That's gonna be bad, right? But say if you're a human, you have a defect that gives you a fully functional extra arm. It's gonna be, you can grab so many boxes of cereal. Okay, so some these defect mutation things help it infect other species. So if you're going from a cat to a human, you probably need like a couple successful mutations in a row. So say if you're like this, you're gonna need a happy one and then a happy one and oh, you got a sad one, that's sad, you're dead. But then the, you already made copies of these. So this is already gonna have a happy one and a happy one and then it's gonna keep on making until you find a successful match. And now this virus can successfully go and infect a human. And why does it take so many mutations? Well, it's cause, because they're both mammals, right? They're both mammals and that's good, but it's a cat and a human and they're not relatively that, well, I mean, yeah, they're kind of related, but not really cause like it's a cat, you know? But say you were like a gorilla or a chimpanzee. I'm gonna draw a monkey. Sorry for any monkey viewers out there for wondering. This is a good drawing. And then you're a monkey, and then you have a, a virus, viral thing. And then it, maybe, it only needs one happy mutation. And then it can go and infect a human. Cause they're so, the genes are literally like, exactly the same. So doing that is very good. But say, if you were a reptile, if you're a lizard, your tongue, maybe you need like 15, not 15, a lot more mutations to do a human. Cause like, this is a human, this is a reptile, they're so far apart, so you, you gotta connect. So that's why all these viruses 
are like going from this to this. And with the coronavirus, COVID-19, there's going to be the bats. And the bats, if you think about it, they're mammals, right? They're kind of closely related. So they only need not that many mutations before they can infect a human. So that is zoonosis.